Barbara Bush, 10 Facts Lesser Known About Former First Lady The wife of America's 41st President and mother to its 43rd, Barbara Bush has been among the nation's most prominent and respected women for decades. USA Today looks at some facts about her life you may not be aware of. 1. She met her husband, George H. W. Bush, at a dance when she was just 16. He was then a senior at Phillips Academy in Andover, Mass. 2. Formerly Barbara Pierce, Bush is a distant relative to the country's 14th president, Franklin Pierce. 3. In the summer of 1943, during World War II, she worked at a nuts and bolts factory in Porchester, N.Y., Bush wrote in her memoir. 4. In 1969, while her husband served in Congress, Bush began writing a column for Houston newspapers about life in Washington. 5. She wrote two children's books, Seafred's Story and Millie's Book, both were written from the perspective of a family dog. 6. In her memoir, Bush writes about hosting a wedding luncheon for the daughter of a close friend of Lyndon Johnson in 1970, which the former president attended, although she said LBJ could not have been a better guest. She added that her daughter and a friend were in deep shock when Johnson snagged the newspaper from the family's front yard when he left. 7. In an interview with Larry King in 2010, she said of Sarah Palin, I sat next to her once, thought she was beautiful, and I think she's very happy in Alaska, and I hope she'll stay there. 8. She recounts in her memoir her irritation at Jane Polly of the Today Show who, during the 1980 New Hampshire GOP primary campaign, asked her during an interview, Mrs. Bush. People say your husband is a man of the 80s and you are a woman of the 40s. What do you say to that? The interview had to be reshot after the tape was ruined, Bush wrote. 9. While George Bush was ambassador to China, Secretary of State Henry Kissinger and his family visited the Bushes and had Thanksgiving lunch with them. Barbara Bush wrote in her memoir that she could tell during the visit they were being spied on by Chinese authorities. 10. She writes that she initially dreaded attending the 1980 Republican National Convention, but once there, she said she became very competitive. George Bush would ultimately be tapped during the convention by Ronald Reagan to be his running mate.